What it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a quick commentary on GTA 5 Online. In today's video, I'm specifically going to be talking to you guys about my personal opinions about the recently released Flight School DLC. Now, I've actually wanted to make this video for quite some time, however, I just never really got around to it. A lot of things have come up, and I just didn't really have the time to do so. However, I thought today was a perfect day to do so, as I'm actually going to be out of town, so I'm not really going to be able to post all of the latest GTA 5 glitches this weekend. But like I said, I really just wanted to get my thoughts about this DLC across to you guys, and I'd absolutely love to hear your own opinions about this in the comments section below. Now, obviously, all of the points that I'm going to be making in today's video are my personal opinions. I'm obviously entitled to have my own opinions, as you are as well, so please, please, please be sure to respect my opinions, as I would love to read your own opinions about the Flight School DLC and some of the points that I bring up in today's video. Now, first off, I wanted to say that I absolutely applaud Rockstar for releasing DLCs so frequently. Now, you know, you have all of these Call of Duty games, and they pretty much release DLCs about every two to three months, and at the same time, that's only about four DLCs. You only get about four DLCs with a Call of Duty game, whereas with Grand Theft Auto, you get a DLC nearly every month. Uh, you know, it could vary. Uh, obviously, this DLC was a bit delayed, but uh, for the most part, you get these DLCs from Rockstar pretty frequently, and the cool thing about them is that they're very relevant uh, to what's going on in today's age, uh, or at least, uh, you know, they're very relevant to holidays and other things like that so these DLCs are themed and that's really really cool um, but at the same time um, someone could argue that these DLCs aren't really free um, because um, you know the, the the content in it is so expensive and you have to buy these shark cards but uh, I personally uh, really do appreciate one Rockstar's hard work for you know releasing these DLCs pretty frequently and two you know giving us these free DLCs where we don't have to buy them like I said people could also argue that these DLCs really aren't free you know because all of the content in it are so damn expensive and uh, you know that causes us to buy shark cards, uh, you know, in order to purchase all of these awesome contents. So, regarding the Flight School DLC, I believe that it was released about a week and a half ago, I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but you know, in all honesty, I'm not a huge fan of this DLC. It was really, really, really not my favorite DLC. My favorite DLC was probably the Business DLC or the Valentine's Day DLC. One of those two was probably my favorite. This DLC just didn't really cut it for me. Um, you know, I, I was really disappointed with the vehicles that were brought into the game. Um, I, obviously, the Besser was a really cool addition, uh, but I personally enjoy supercars. I personally like having cars in the game, and uh, I don't really like the sports cars. I really do enjoy the supercars and the fast cars. You know, that's what I'm into, and, uh, you know, Rockstar just didn't really uh, hit a home run for me on that. They, I, I didn't really like the DLC. I didn't really like the contents in the DLC. Uh, I also love when you know, Rockstar releases um, new masks and new clothes and other things like that. Um, the only uh, clothing item that they released was the flight suit and uh, obviously the uh, the t-shirt the that you could unlock by um, completing the flight school. So that was kind of a bummer. I did not like the contents that were in the DLC. You know, all of the all of the vehicles and you know the the little amount of clothes that they offered and obviously they didn't have you know any masks or face paints or other things like that so that was a huge huge bummer for me and you know that's one of the reasons why I really didn't like this uh, this flight school DLC not only that but I thought that this DLC was very very small now what I mean by that is I believe that they took over 40 days I believe about 42 days uh, in order to release this DLC so um, obviously I, I applaud them for working so hard in uh, in order to obviously provide us with a new DLC um, but I, they just took so long in order to produce this DLC and um, I wasn't a fan of it and I thought that it was very small you know there weren't a lot of content in it you know like the like I previously stated you know with cars and um, you know masks and clothes or therefore the lack of uh, you know masks and clothes and other things like that so I just think that it, it's a very small DLC there wasn't many things included in it you know obviously I'm sure that the flight school um, you know aspect of it this entire flight school DLC where you had all of these missions and you know the gameplay that you guys are seeing on screen right now I'm, I'm sure that that took you know obviously a ton of time and a ton of effort in order to you know master and kind of execute properly so I'm sure that that took a ton of time and that's you know why the DLC took you know 40 plus days in order to be released um, but in a whole or uh, in total you know I don't think that this DLC was uh, very impactful um, I don't think that it lasted very long you know honestly it got boring after about two days because there weren't really things that could carry on you know throughout the weeks and in order to kind of uh, you know tie us over to to the following DLC to, to the upcoming DLC to to, you know the, the next DLC whatever it may be it was a very very boring DLC um, obviously it's kind of you know came and passed you know people aren't really talking about the best run anymore or the you know the, the Coquette classic or other things like that people are not talking about those vehicles 
Um, I just didn't think that this uh, was a very impactful DLC, and you know, I wasn't a fan of it. And uh, I, I look forward to to the new DLCs that Rockstar does, uh, you know, give out to us. And again, I applaud Rockstar for working hard in order to. Um, you know, produce us with these DLCs or provide us with these DLCs uh, would be a better word. Um, but uh, that's really just what I want. What I wanted to talk about in today's video, you know, give you my opinions about this flight school DLC. So you know, in total and uh, in summation, I, I did not think that this DLC was worth it. Obviously, I'm trying not to complain and trying not to bitch about um, you know the shittiness of uh, of the flight school or uh, the shittiness of the DLC. But again, guys, these are all my personal opinions. Please be sure to let me know your own thoughts in the comment section below, as I am very curious as to what you all think. Nonetheless, guys, that's all I do have for you in today's video. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for some of the best daily GTA 5 content. Until next time, guys, this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.